With the national pause order in place, local vaccination clinics are switching up their operations. Here in Lowell, they had to figure out how to replace a thousand Johnson and Johnson vaccines and get their hands on a thousand other vaccines. It was scary. Um, I mean, I know that the chances are really low, but it's still scary and concerning. So yeah, it may, definitely made me think twice. Getting the directive from both the state and federal level to halt all Johnson and Johnson vaccinations after several cases of rare blood clots forming after the shot. I was kind of worried about getting the Johnson Johnson. Posing a problem for Lowell's 1K Wednesday initiative to vaccinate a thousand people at the Cross River Center. But now that we've gotten Pfizer, I feel much more assured. Each person with an appointment called and told their appointment was on time and safe from start to finish. They just need to come back for a second dose as the original J&J &J is a single dose. I thought that was amazing, really. I mean, I definitely thought it was going to be either postponed or canceled. All thanks to those behind the scenes working with all their local partners to make up for the lost doses. Accessing federal doses set aside for vulnerable populations in need through the Lowell Community Health Center. We also have appointments that perhaps haven't been released to the community yet that we're able to hold back and, and in anticipation of an event like this. The site says there weren't any cancellations and if anything, more people wanted to get a shot of the Pfizer. I'm relieved and I'm, I'm glad I got it. Everyone who got their vaccine today is set to come back on May 5th for their second dose. Reporting in Lowell, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.